Welcome to this developer tutorial for Core Animator. In this tutorial, I'll present an example of using animated views from Core Animator in two different ways. First, as an animated splash screen. And second, we'll use a Core Animated view as the home screen of our application. Of course, a home screen has navigation buttons to get to different parts of the app, so I'll demonstrate one approach to turning elements from Core Animator into working buttons in your app. I've got a project here with most of this already working, so let's take a look. First, we have the animated splash screen. It's a nice animated logo, and when that's done, it transitions to the title screen. The title screen also has some nice animations. All of this, of course, was done with Core Animator, and you can check out the actual projects if you like. They are included in the source download for this tutorial, which is available on coreanimator.com. Now, take a look at the title screen. You'll see that the intention for here from our designer was that these three signs near the bottom are supposed to be buttons. Uh, we also have an info button here at the top right corner. These signs down here are not currently buttons. Uh, because they were created in Core Animator, they're actually UI image views. So we'll go over how we can turn these into functioning buttons. First, let's take a quick look at the splash screen. Uh, here is the core animator project that produced the animation. It's super straightforward uh, with a single animation that we've chosen to call intro. Uh, if we preview it, you can see that it's just a, a three and a half second animation uh, that's showing our logo. And when the animation completes, that's when the transition to the title screen is accomplished. So let's take a look at that in code. So here we have our, our splash screen view controller and it has an outlet to the core animated view that we've called lamp splash view. And again, super straightforward. When, when view did load is called, we simply add the intro animation and we give it a completion block. And inside that completion block, that's when we advance to the title screen. So that's really it for adding an animated splash screen to your animation with core animator. Uh, it's, it's really simple and it looks fantastic. All right, with that out of the way, let's take a closer look at the title screen. So in the Core Animator project, you'll see that we also have an intro animation that moves everything into place. And then in code, once that is done, we kick off a looping ambient animation that really just puts things into motion. So let's head over to code on that one. Here we have a a view controller called uh, PP1 Title View Controller. This is this is actually the title screen for Puppet Pals One, uh, an iOS app we've got. And again, super straightforward. So in the view did load, um, you know we have an outlet to our our animated view. We call add intro animation with completion, and inside that completion block, we add the ambient animation. You'll notice we also have an outlet to a UI button. Let's take a look at that. Because this button is supposed to be in the upper right hand corner, regardless of the device that we're on, uh, we actually add it here in the storyboard. It's not a part of our core animator project. It's in the storyboard and we just use auto layout to constrain it to the top right. So what that amounts to is that, even, so if we've, we've seen it running in the iPad simulator. But now if we run it in the iPhone simulator, you'll see it kind of has the same effect. So here's the logo, the intro, we still have our buttons at the bottom, and, and now we have this info button. And it's, it is an actual button. Um, so you see here we just we set its alpha to zero so that it wasn't there during the intro animation. And then once the intro is done and we're starting the ambient, we just fade it in. Okay, great. We can easily add an IB action to the info button because it's a button. In fact, let's go ahead and do that now. And now this will get kicked off whenever the button is whenever the button is tapped. But what about these animated signs? that we also 
uh, want to be buttons. As we already discussed, they are UI image view instances. But importantly, there is nothing special about them. They were created in Core Animator, but they are just regular UI image views. It's easy to imagine writing some code that would look at a UI image view and create a UI button that matches its size, position, and uses the same image. And in fact, that's just what we've done. Now, I have to let you know that what I'm about to show you is a stopgap solution. In a future version of Core Animator, we will allow you to set the type of an element to a button, for instance. However, since I don't have an exact date for when that will be added, and because people have been asking for it, we are making available a simple category on UI view that will accomplish what we want. So let's drop that into our project now and see what we've got. So the actual category has a single public method, uh, right now simply called make button from core element named with target and action. So we're just gonna add that to our title view controller. First by importing it. Now in our view did load, this is where we're gonna actually call out the elements by name and ask them to be buttons. And before I actually do that, I'm gonna add a couple of action methods. And these are gonna be um, the actions that are gonna be called when those buttons are pressed. So they'll correspond to the the buttons. Excellent. Okay, and now we can just call our category method on our title view outlet. So make button from core element named. Now the name, where do we get the name from? The name is actually going to be the name that was given the element over here. So for the saved shows button, looks like we've just called it saved shows. So when the saved shows, that's the element that we're going to turn into a button. Uh, we're going to call a method on ourself, and it's going to be the saved shows. Uh, same for the next one here is more characters. It's called more characters. And finally, uh, this press to start, uh, it looks like over here in Core Animator, we've just called it start. So that is the key for this element in the views by name dictionary of title view. And again, with our self as the target, and the selector for this one is action start. And that, simply doing that, will turn those into buttons. So let's just run it again and check it out. So now when the title screen appears, these, these signs, even though they're animated, they are actually buttons. You can see they get depressed when I tap on them. Very, very cool. And that is how, so obviously you can imagine here, um, you know, doing whatever you need, uh, transition to more screens or whatever, but the point is these methods are now being called when these elements are tapped on because they're buttons. And that's really how you do it. This is, this is the crux of it, really just using this category, again, as kind of a stopgap solution until we add it into Core Animator proper. Uh, I thought we should at least offer this. Um, so those three, those three lines, uh, these three actions, and you're off and running. Hopefully that's helpful, and definitely let me know. Uh, you know, go ahead and, and respond if you have questions or comments or, or other feature requests. Um, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.